guys! I am here, outside, filming for you today. The reason I'm outside is because I just got done streaming. I have not gone to sleep yet. It's daytime. And I really, really like the lighting out here. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a video outside. I've been really wanting to film a YouTube video. Um, I kind of have just been having like a crisis on what my YouTube channel should be about. And I think I've decided that I really want to post as much Kingdom Hearts content as I can. That doesn't mean I necessarily want to be a Kingdom Hearts YouTuber, but I was talking about my stream with this and I was saying how I really enjoy Kingdom Hearts and it's the one thing in my life that has never changed and will never change. I will always love Kingdom Hearts. It is not a phase and it's something that will always be near and dear to my heart. So I've kind of just decided that I'm going to bang out the content in relation to Kingdom Hearts. I'm also going to be posting vlogs and possibly other videos if you guys want to see them. Definitely some Q&As, stuff like that. I'm sorry, my hair is seriously such a mess. Um, <laughs> and it's like kind of windy, so. But anyway, and I'm sorry if I play with it like throughout the video because that's just probably going to happen. I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk to you guys about my expectations for E3 because I feel like mine are a little bit on the positive side whereas a lot of people are kind of negative in regards to like when Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to come out. So I just really wanted to talk about my thoughts and see if you guys agree. We can get a discussion going and then we will hear about it on Monday hopefully when the Sony conference takes place at E3. So my thoughts on Kingdom Hearts 3. They came out with 1.5, 2.5 remix. So I think that, do you guys hear the rooster? Oh my God. I think that the fact that they came out with 1.5, 2.5 is a really good indication that they are setting us up for a sequel. Uh, I don't know, some people don't agree with me on this, but I personally think it makes sense. Like why would they go through all this trouble to come out with these remixes so quickly? They could have remastered them much more in detail, um, but instead they kind of just took it, made it 60 frames per second, a little bit better graphics. Um, I don't know. I think that they are trying to set us up for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's just my personal opinion. I've heard from many different media outlets that Kingdom Hearts 3 is expected in 2018. There was actually like a like a leaked video that showed that it would come out in 2018 and obviously you can't believe leaked videos but um, with my high hopes and the fact that they came out with 1.5, 2.5 this year, I really, really, really think that it is going to come out next year. Just my personal thoughts. So I also think that they're probably gonna show us some more gameplay footage because all we've really had is the one in 2015 that was an amazing trailer by the way uh, but that's pretty much all we've had and then we've had some screenshots come out and uh, since then and that's about it in regards to gameplay so i think that they're definitely going to show off some more gameplay i think it would just be silly not to um involve kingdom hearts 3 and e3 considering so many people are hyped for it and especially with the momentum that has been picked up from 1.5 and 2.5 like i mean i think it's just perfect i really think that it's going to work perfectly now there was like an article i don't remember the website but a lot of my viewers were showing me this on my discord that kingdom hearts uh three is and like final fantasy 7 remake are respect are expected to come out within the next three years uh i think okay <laughs> now what they mean by that is obviously not all three games or because they, they mentioned another game i don't remember what it was maybe it was life is strange I have no idea, but anyway, there was basically an article saying that a few Square Enix games were going to be coming out within the next three years and Kingdom Hearts 3 was included in that. Um, that does not mean that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out in three years. It just means that it will be coming out within the next three years because there's two other games that they listed that are expected to come out as well and obviously they're not going to release them all at the same time. Now this is where all the controversy comes in. What game is going to come out first? Will it be Final Fantasy 7 Remake? Will it be Kingdom Hearts 3? We don't know but from my standpoint and maybe I'm just being biased but I do think that Kingdom Hearts 3 would make more sense to come out before Final Fantasy 7 just because Final Fantasy 7 is a remake. Final Fantasy 7 has been out for years. <laughs> I mean it's been out and people have been waiting for a remake and I get that and it looks like it's going to be amazing but but Kingdom Hearts 3 is a whole new game it's a sequel Final Fantasy 7 is 
a game that has already been out. Why would they why would they prioritize a game that is being remade than a game that is going to be brand new? To me, that doesn't make sense. But uh, like I said, I have been hearing differing opinions and people in my stream have been kind of, uh, you know, they've been debating it with me. So I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. Like, I don't think I'm necessarily right. These are just my thoughts. And I think that they might be a little bit biased, especially because I am definitely more of a Kingdom Hearts fan than I am a Final Fantasy fan. Um, obviously, Kingdom Hearts would be nothing without Final Fantasy. But Kingdom Hearts is just my life. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just really, I really have high hopes for the E3 conference in regards to Kingdom Hearts 3. I genuinely believe that we're going to get good news, hopefully a 2018 release date. Maybe not the exact day, but hopefully the year at least. I really am just, come on, come on Square, come on. I'm just really hoping for the best with this E3 conference and yeah, with that being said, I would just like to thank you guys for sticking around. I hope that you enjoy these kind of chill, outdoorsy videos. I probably am going to be posting more videos like this a lot more frequently because it's just so easy for me to sit down um, and just film and talk and it be not a huge production because it's just not me to have like this big, big production, lots of edits. For me, I just like sitting down, talking, expressing my thoughts and talking to you guys in the comments. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Feel free to follow me on Twitch if you guys watch Twitch. I stream so much Kingdom Hearts. There are not enough Kingdom Hearts streamers on Twitch, but I stream it all the time. A lot of my viewers enjoy Kingdom Hearts, and if you like talking to people live while they're playing games, or if you want to see me play Kingdom Hearts, I'm not the best, but it is my favorite game and I'm very passionate about it, please feel free to stop by my stream. It's twitch.tv slash keybladesera. I absolutely love streaming. Very into it. Um, I definitely... Um, um, if I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm on Twitch, so definitely check me out there. If you guys want to join my Discord channel, please feel free. I'm going to post the link in the description. <laughs> There's like kittens running around in our backyard. They're like neighborhood cats and kittens that we take care of, um, which I could actually do a story time about that if you guys want. The, the cat uh, actually gave birth in our trash can, our empty trash can in the backyard. I feel like something is biting my butt and it's hurting. Okay, it's just a leaf. Anyway, uh, um, you guys can also follow me on Twitter, see what I'm up to when I'm not on YouTube, harass me to make YouTube videos. I think I've decided that on my off days or after I'm done streaming, I'm going to start making more YouTube videos. I think it's been mostly for me just a lack of ideas for videos because I kind of just have been wanting to do these like full production, amazing YouTube videos, but I realize that it's really not me. So I think I'm just gonna do more videos like this and I hope that's okay and I hope that you enjoy them. I love talking to you guys about Kingdom Hearts and also I'll be doing other things as well, of course. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy this. Please, let's, let's get a discussion going in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you have a positive outlook for Kingdom Hearts 3 or a negative one, because some people really believe it's gonna come out in three years. <laughs> Some people believe it's gonna come out in like 2050, I don't know, because it's been so long. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just super positive about it because I'm just, well, I have to be, you know? I have to be. Um, also, like, huge announcement, which is really cool, I wish I haven't told you guys, um, but it's, it's kind of been this way for a while, but I feel like while we're on the subject of Kingdom Hearts, I actually am a Square Enix Elite member, which is really cool. So basically, I'm, I'm not partnered with Square Enix necessarily, but I am affiliated with them in some way. I'm, um, you know, it's basically, it's basically a group of, like, content creators um, who are able to kind of, not necessarily, I don't, I don't really know what terminology to use, but um, I'm basically affiliated with Square Enix, which is freaking awesome. I love every second of it. It's like a dream come true. Um, yeah, so just wanted to also say that because I'm very proud of it and it makes me super happy. It's kind of like a dream. But yeah, that's basically all I had to say. I am very sorry about my lack of content. I think I am very critical of myself when I make YouTube videos and I think that that's a huge reason why well, I kind of haven't. I, I kind of feel like I'm a little awkward. I am socially awkward, so making videos can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge for me, but I enjoy it and I've been doing it for a while and I've got ten almost 10,000 of you here with me that I need to be making content for. Um, but I think I'm going to stick with mostly Kingdom Hearts videos and some vlogs and uh, things like that. Maybe other video games that I love. Like, I love Nier. Nier was so good.
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around with me. Really appreciate it. I'm definitely going to be trying to throw some more content out like this more often. And yeah. And I do you guys like this camera quality, by the way? I'm just using my, my vlogging camera, but I feel like it's better than my other cameras. Just because it's got the 1080p 60 frames per second, which is like, yes. Yes, please. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go need to get some sleep because it's like 6 in the morning. No, it's like 7 like seven in the morning and I still haven't slept because I've been streaming all night um, but yeah thank you guys so much uh, if you guys want any more videos I think I'm gonna do a video about twitch pretty soon about like my experiences with twitch and some like tips for people I think that'd be really nice uh, yeah I think that's about it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching sorry this is like a super silly video not very put together just simple um, I love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me. I'll see you soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Sorry about that, but I am going to try my best. <laughs> the kitten. Hi. We have like neighborhood kittens in the yard. And they're freaking cute. Like, look at this. Come here, cutie. Say hi. Look. Oh my god. And we feed them and take care of them. They're so cute. I freaking love them.